Hi there, welcome to lesson 12.3 for Honors Geometry. Today we're going to learn about surface area of pyramids and cones. For, so first, let's go ahead and figure out what exactly is a pyramid. A pyramid is a polyhedron in which the base is a polygon and the lateral faces are triangles with a common vertex. So we've got a pyramid here in our bottom right hand corner and we're going to go ahead and label everything that we can about this pyramid based on the definition. So first, the area that just showed up, that kind of blue-gray area, that is the base of your pyramid. The lateral face, there are four lateral faces for this particular pyramid. However, in the definition we see that it says that the base is a polygon. So the base can be any type of polygon that we have. Right now we have a quadrilateral, but it could be five-sided, six-sided, you name it. So the lateral face will the number of lateral faces will be determined by however many sides there are of a polygon. Next we have the vertex. The vertex by definition is where all of the lateral faces have the point in common. So they all meet up at this vertex here. The height of a pyramid is going to be drawn from the vertex and it will be the line that is perpendicular to the base of your pyramid. So now we're going to get into a special type of pyramid, and this is a regular pyramid. A regular pyramid is going to have a regular polygon for a base. That is what makes it regular. And remember, regular means that it is, it has congruent sides and congruent angles. So it is equal angular and equal lateral. So it is a regular polygon for the base, and the segment joining the vertex to the center of the base is going to be perpendicular to the base. So what we mean by that is actually what's called the slant height. So if we were to draw a line from the vertex and go to the center of one of the sides of the bases, it will be perpendicular right here. And it is going to be a diagonal line that's on the lateral face, and that is called your slant height. So, one thing to keep in mind, a non-regular pyramid does not have a slant height. The only kind of pyramid that's going to have a slant height is a regular pyramid. Okay, so now that we have all of this, these definitions in place, let's go ahead and move on to a theorem. So, the surface area of a regular polygon, or I'm sorry, a regular pyramid can be determined by the sum of the base area and the lateral area. And we have the formula down here. So our surface area S, right here, equals B, where B is the area of the base, plus one-half P, which is our perimeter, times L. And L is always written in a cursive L here. That is your slant height. So our formula is S equals the area of our base, plus one-half of our perimeter times the slant height. Okay, let's go ahead and put this into an example. So we want to find the area of the regular pyramid below. So this is a pyramid that has a square for a base because we know that this is a regular polygon and the only regular quadrilateral that we can have is a square. So we know all four sides of this equal four centimeters. So remember, our formula is S equals the area of our base plus one half of our perimeter times the slant height. Well, our area of our base is going to be 4 squared because it is a square. So 4 times 4 plus 1 half of our perimeter. And our perimeter will be 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, which is 16, times the slant height. And that is given to us right here, so times 5. So when you plug all of that into your calculator, you end up with a, an area, a surface area, and actually we're going to label this as SA. Surface area equals 56 centimeters squared. So that's how you would use a formula to figure out surface area of a regular pyramid. Okay, so now let's move on to cones. So a cone is a figure that has a circular base, so it has a circle for a base, and a vertex that is not in the same plane as the base. So it just means that it is a three-dimensional object. So we're going to go ahead and label a bunch of the parts of the cone, just like we did with the pyramid. So first of all, the base. 
The base is going to be a circle. Now we have the vertex. The vertex is going to be the point that's not on the base that everything goes to. So similar to a pyramid where it is where everything goes to that's not on the base. Next, we have a slant height of a cone. And the slant height specifically is going to be the distance from the vertex to any point that's on the circumference of this circular base. So that distance right there from, if we were to pick this point right here, which is on the circumference up to the vertex, that is your slant height. Next, this kind of peachy orange shaded area, that is your lateral surface. So that is everything that you can see on the outside of the cone except for the base. Next, we have the height. The height of a cone is gonna be the line that is drawn from the vertex that is perpendicular to your base. And lastly, we have our radius. Remember, this is a circle. So in this particular cone, our height happens to meet at the center of the circle, which is where our radius starts. However, that's not always the case. The height is always going to be perpendicular from the vertex to the base, but not necessarily will that be from the vertex to the center of the circle or center of the base, but in this case it is. Okay, so this is a special type of cone that we have here, and this is a right cone. In Specifically, in a right cone, what we have is the segment that joins the vertex to the center of our base. So if we were to write our center right here, is going to be perpendicular to the base. And then lastly, the slant height is going to be the distance between, we already talked about this, the distance between the vertex and a point on the base edge. So basically a point that's on the circumference of the circle. So let's move on to a theorem. So we've got a theorem about the surface area of a right cone and it states that the surface area of a right cone is equal to the base area, so this is your area of your circle, because remember our base was a circle, plus one half times the circumference of the circle, as well as t the slant height. So we can rewrite that in terms of area and circumference, and this would be pi r squared, that's our area of a circle, and then we have one half times the circumference. Remember our circumference is two pi r, and we want one half of that, so we are left with pi r times, of course, the lateral or the slant height that we've got right here from our equation. So that is how you're going to find surface area of a right cone. So that is it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this and look forward to seeing you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.